okay good evening all and here is an interesting question let fx be this quadratic expression we need to solve the equation f of f of f of f of and keep on chanting 2024 times so can you give a try here we go the first solution i'll present is a graphical so if i try to first graph x square plus 14x plus 42 that can be easily factored as x plus 7 whole square minus 7 so roughly at x equals minus 7 we are getting the value of minus 7 so the vertex is minus 7 comma minus 7 at x equals 0 we will get 49 minus 7 which is 42 so graph will roughly behave like this so clearly from the graph i can see we have got two roots alpha and beta I mean it's not difficult to estimate the roots because if I set it to 0 I'll get x plus 7 equals plus minus root 7 so x equals minus 7 plus root 7 and minus 7 minus root 7 okay so this gapping is, is root 7 head there is minus 7 minus root 7 right so we have this gapping of root 7 and root 7 front and back okay now so we know clearly alpha is something which is lesser than this height and beta is something which is more than this height okay so what does it mean to have a solution of f of f of x it simply means now f of x should become alpha or beta because f of alpha will be 0 and f of beta will be so f of x now should become alpha or f of x should be beta so is it possible to have f of x equals beta or f of x equal to alpha so let's check this out now since beta is already lesser than minus 7 means its height is less than this and this is f of x graph so if i try to graph beta beta is a value which is lesser than minus 7 so it will definitely go down so there will be no solutions from it what about fx equals alpha if i'll try to plot on the same f of x and try to check at what value of x the output is alpha so since alpha is something which is lesser than minus 7 is closer to origin so this will be the graph of y equals alpha and again f of x is cut by alpha at two points okay so these are the special values at which f of alpha will become 0 so corresponding to this i'll get a root okay so let's say alpha 2 because i'm calling alpha as let's say alpha so corresponding to this i'll get a root let's say alpha 1 and this guy's alpha beta 1 so corresponding to this i'll get a root let's say it's alpha 1 and beta 1 so now we know f of f of x equals 0 at two values so its root is x equals alpha 1 and beta 1 similarly let's say if i think of f of f of f of x equals 0 so now clearly this time we want an f of f of x output should be beta now what input f of f of x will be alpha that will happen at when f of x is alpha 1 right or f of x is beta 1 so now again since alpha 1 is just lesser than minus 7 since like in terms of distance since alpha uh, since alpha 1 is just still more than minus 7 because minus 7 plus something and beta 1 is lesser than minus 7 so still on this graph if i'll put a further line of let's say y equals alpha 1 it will have a still two solutions so now next solution will become alpha 2 again you keep on repeating this process so what we got to know is every iteration of f which means f of f of x equals 0 has got two solutions which i can clearly see over there alpha and beta f of f of f of x equals 0 has got again two solutions which alpha and beta 1 if you have three iteration it will be two solutions because every time we are repeating the process the line is intersecting the quadratic and total so how many real solutions it will have of course we have to solve in real okay otherwise the number of solutions will be the degree of polynomial 
if you count even complex numbers and ability to root everything. So number of real solutions that I'm having for this equation, no matter what value of iteration you do, it's always two. So the answer for this political problem is two. One other way of seeing this is you can directly play with the question. And let's say method two. So f of x equals x plus seven whole square minus seven f of f of x if i'll calculate simply i have to put f of x in terms of x and this is giving me x plus 7 to the power 4 minus 7. similarly if i take f of f of f of x that's giving me x plus 7 to the power 8 minus 7. so now it's quite clear if i trade this let's say 20 20 four times i'm getting to the power if it is three times it's two to the power three so we'll get x plus 7 whole to the power 2 raised to power 24 minus 7 equals 0. And the roots that I'll get is still 2 root. The beauty of the first graphical method is not only limited to quadratic, but even for any n degree polynomial, you can check at least qualitatively the number of root of composite functions. Okay, which otherwise in method 2 is not possible always in a cool way. So I hope you must have enjoyed this questions and moreover it has given you a new vision to problem solving. Thank you.